सन हैव टू एस्पेक्ट वन इज मर्क्यूरी द न्यूट्रल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ फादर वेर ही इज जस्ट स्टैंडिंग बिहाइंड यू एज यूर सपोर्ट वॉचिंग यू फॉल वॉचिंग यू राइज एंड जस्ट सपोर्टिंग यू दैट इज इंडिकेटेड बाय मर्क्यूरी एंड अनादर एस्पेक्ट बीनस वेर फादर is protective holding your hand making you sit on his shoulder so that you remain afloat this is the blessing that is indicated by venus we have learned about both these aspects in the previous uh, in the previous video sorry and how it shapes the success that one is going to have let's continue more about mercury and now now uh, before i go further we have to understand that mercury is a karaka significator not significator karaka means doer karaka is that aspect of your personality who commits something if karaka is strong your commitment towards the thing which the planet signifies which the planet is karak for will be more and when the karak is weak your dedication towards that aspect of your personality will be less to understand this understand it this way that when mercury is weak one's desire to learn gain accumulate knowledge expand their horizon of thinking is not that great as compared to those who have a powerful mercury who always want to learn improve themselves learn from their mistakes observe people around them etc so if you just want to quickly know how is your planet see how much you are interested in that area that the planet signifies and you quickly know how strong the planet is and certainly if you get more interested in the area signified by the planet you are somehow unconsciously also strengthening those planets right that goes without saying mercury indicates learnings things that you learn and mercury is a very important planet to know what one learns and will that learning be beneficial but before that remember that when mercury is powerful the desire for learning is great there is a real interest in learning whereas when mercury is weak the desire of learning is not that great to know about the learning of anyone you have to see mercury and how it is placed it is strong it is weak it is afflicted or what let's look at a few examples before we go deeper into the video let's see this horoscope this person is illiterate you see he have a mercury in the 7th house which is in his own rashi and also retrograde but this doesn't save the mercury from being weak because seventh house is the place where the planet mercury loses its directional strength now looking further into it this mercury is in taurus navamsha taurus navamsha which is the sixth house of the horoscope making mercury even more bad even worse and the rash in uh, like uh, sh i sh should i tell it to you i think i have already talked about it the upagrahas and the aprakash grahas are very important in the analysis of a horoscope i have made i think i have made two three videos on it i have two three articles on it and i have a webinar on aprakash grahas as well 
the opinion of classics, the opinion of traditional astrology, and my opinion is that without the judgment of uh, Prakash Grahas and Upagrahas, if you wish to judge a chart, you are a fool. Simply say, direct, clear, honest. If it hurts you, I'm sorry. But the truth is the truth, right? Okay. Coming back. This Mercury in the seventh house is conjoined Upaketu. A bad thing to have. And specifically, when you want to check education, it is very important to check the fifth house from Mercury also. When you check the fifth house from Mercury in this horoscope, that is Libra, you see there is Gulik situated in Libra, that is bad. The Lord of the sign Libra is Venus, that is in the sixth house. It is a benefit planet in the Ukchaya, the sixth house, that is bad. This Venus is also making a 212 connection with Mercury, not supporting Mercury. If the fifth lord from Mercury is not supporting Mercury, certainly education is not there. Added to this, in Navamsha, this Mercury is debilitated in Virgo and is further in the company of Sun and Saturn, highly afflicted. So the fifth lord from Mercury is highly afflicted, making this person illiterate. Once again, you have to see Mercury, the strength and the weakness of Mercury. This deals more about functional intelligence. The fifth house from Mercury talks about education, educational qualifications, and the formal and informal learning of the person. So both these things you have to take into consideration. If Mercury is powerful, but the fifth house and fifth lord from Mercury is not that powerful, one may not have a formal education, but can be intelligent. Whereas if the Mercury is weak, but the fifth lord from Mercury is powerful, one may have good formal education, but he can be a complete unintelligent person. That's bad. You have got good education, but... Uh, the person is not intelligent. That means he cannot use his knowledge. It is like of no use, isn't it? Let's see a few more horoscopes, then we will go deeper into it. Another chart here, you see that Mercury is situated in the fifth house, in the sign Sagittarius, Jupiter. And this Mercury, once again, like in the previous case, conjoins Upaketu. As I have told earlier also, the analysis of horoscope without considering this Upagrahas and Aprakash Grahas is futile. And if you are trying to analyze a horoscope without taking into consideration these Aprakash Grahas and Upagrahas, you are trying to achieve something that... It, it is like, you know, uh, uh, this is like, a, well, what to say? I don't want to take a bad example. You understand better. In Shadbal, in aggregate Shadbal, this Mercury is having 85 points. That is less than 100%, making this Mercury further, more weaker. The fifth house from Mercury is lauded by Mars. This Mars is retrograde in the ascendant. Understand this fact that malefics like Mars in the ascendant is never good until and unless they are in own sign or in exaltation. Rashi. If you remember in the previous case also, the fifth lord from Mercury that was Venus was ill-placed. That was a malefic in Ukchaya. And here, the fifth lord from Mercury is a malefic weekend, both bad situations. This Mars further, Aprakash, Graha, and Upagraha aspect, this Mars in Leo is conjoined, Parivesh, and Yamakanta. Two malefics, oh my god, that is terrible. Further going, you see this Mars is in Scorpio, Navamsha, with Ketu, and Mercury. You may say that this is an own Navamsha, why it is bad, sir? My students know the answer. Planet in Scorpio and Capricorn Navamsha, you better forget those planets. All the planets who go in Scorpio and Capricorn Navamsha lose their beneficence. 
as I said jokingly in my class, the planet in Scorpio or Capricorn Navamsha is out of the horoscope. Don't consider them. Consider other factors. I will not take more examples, though I have uh, five, six more examples to take, but I think this much will be sufficient. Two things. Mercury being weak, point one. Point two. Fifth Lord from Mercury also weak in D1 and D9 and the place mismatch. Malefic in Kendra Kona, Malefics in 1st house, 4th house, 7th house, 10th house, 5th house, 9th house. Or Benefics in 3rd house, 6th house is a mismatch position. 5th Lord from Mercury getting mismatched, Mercury getting afflicted, both normally and also by Aprakash Grahas and Upagrahas, that is Dhoom, Vitipat, Parivesh, Indrachap, Ketu, Kal, Mrityu, Arthaprahar, Yamakantak, and Gulik. Getting afflicted by these planets, make one, I will not say illiterate, but not have much formal education. Right? How to differentiate between the functional intelligence of the native and formal education, I have already talked about. Now, there comes a very important point. The knowledge that one has gained, will it be beneficial for him? I can take many examples for all of these things, whatever I have covered in the series, as I have already like told you, if I have not, then let me tell it right now. All these things come from my own experience, my personal experience of looking at horoscopes. But sadly, I don't want to show examples because the horoscope belongs to clients. And I don't find it is fair to share client details publicly, right? So that, that is the particular reason that I'm not doing it. But certainly these come from experience. And if you know how to look at a horoscope, if you follow my videos, my settings, you will certainly be able to replicate these principles that I am teaching you and predict based on this. Always remember, I have two types. People who watch my channel, I want them to be able to predict. They take up to do astrology. They don't do astrology. They learn astrology for themselves. They want to practice on their own chart, want to predict the chart of family member, people, doesn't matter. My astrology, is completely focused on making people predict. I'm, I'm, I am I, don't believe in time pass astrology, making transit videos and useless videos that I don't do. My single target is to give proper, right, good, formal, functioning, research-based, authentic, bona fide teachings related to astrology to my viewers. That is my basic target that I wish to achieve. And my motive is not my better. My motive is the betterment of astrology. You know, mera bala ho ye mera target nahi hai. Mera zindagi mein waise hi bahut bada chal hai. Hamesha se. Jyotish ka bala ho ye hamara target hai. Or using that astrology, us jyotish ko istamal karke aapka bala ye mera target hai. Right? So my target is that you should learn proper astrology, help yourself, improve your lives, help people around you, or help people around you, and help improve the life of people around you. This is my basic target. Right? <clears throat> Coming back to my point. The planet in fifth from Mercury indicates fifth house from Mercury. The planet which lots the fifth house from Mercury tells you the level of formal education. If the planet is afflicted, weak, the formal education is negligible. If the planet is powerful, one has great level of formal education, say up to the level of PhD, Masters. Okay. Now, the fifth house from Mercury indicates your education. What you have learned. See, I'm not talking of fifth lord. Fifth lord for the level of education. Fifth house for education itself. You have to see the house. 
you have to see the Rashi, and most importantly, you have to see the planet influencing. Sun generally indicate medicinal fields. Along with this also indicate political sciences. And anything PCM, physics, chemistry, math, sun indicates that. Moon deals with chemistry, deals with commerce, deals with business, and deals with psychology type of subjects, basically reading mind or forecasting. So forecasting takes big data analysis and everything in consideration. Rahu, Mars, and Saturn indicate engineering. In this, Saturn is semi-engineering. Mars is good amount of engineering, and Rahu is very heavy engineering. Along with this, Mars and Saturn also indicate, uh, like Mars, Saturn, and Mercury, all three of them indicate someone being a lawyer. However, I have seen Mars indicate someone who learns law becomes a successful lawyer. Saturn indicates someone learns law, doesn't become a successful lawyer. And Mercury indicates someone who learns law and don't practice it, but use the same knowledge into some other field. Venus, <clears throat> Ketu and Mercury indicate mathematics, one by one to every topic. Ketu and Mercury indicate mathematics. Sun, all, no, sorry, Moon also indicate doctors. Saturn also indicate doctors, by the way. Specifically Ayurvedic or homeopathic doctors, not allopathic ones. Coming to the section of uh, medicine, uh, Moon in, uh, Jupiter indicates Ayurvedic medicine, Mercury indicates Yunani and homeopathic medicine, and Sun, Venus, and Moon indicate allopathic medicine. More Sun indicates allopathic medicine. More into this, I will say Venus indicates supplement general physician type of a thing. Sun indicates a specialization, and Moon indicates a general physician kind of a scenario, more related to acrobatics, bodily movements, etc. Et in this also because Mars is the Karka for blood, Mars indicates surgery and related fields. Right, Jupiter, Saturn also gives you knowledge related to linguistics. Jupiter also gives other uh, humanities related subjects such as political science, astrology and other such subjects. Commerce is basically a play of Moon and uh, Mercury and so on and so forth based on the planets you should understand. Right, and uh, do tell me if you want a separate video on which planet indicate what type of education. How to check education, I have like told you the most important key of the horoscope that you can <clears throat> certainly use and see how the thing is uh, going to be. Now adding to, uh, like, uh, now going further into it, Say someone is having their Mercury. I'm taking a life, uh, I'm taking a client's example and not telling it to you though. Not showing you the chart, but I have a chart in front of me. So this person have Mercury in ascendant in the sign Virgo. So fifth house from Mercury is the Rashi of fifth house from Mercury is the fifth house from Mercury is the having the Rashi of Saturn. Now this Saturn is in Libra with Libra with leave the with in Libra. This is good. The fifth Lord from Mercury is powerful. So this person should have education up to the level of uh, PhD or masters. That is not real. The person have learned law, but he completed it with much hardship struggle. Why? Because the same sadness debilitated in Navamsha. So don't forget Navamsha analysis. Now, coming to the fifth house, this fifth house is influenced by under the fifth aspect of Rahu. The biggest mistake that you will do, because it is the general tendency to choose the education field based on the planet who lords the fifth house from Mercury, this is what the person did. He chose the educational field of Saturn itself. He learned in law. Now, as the Saturn is a Libra 
and mercury is in virgo they are in a two twelve relationship and as the fifth lord from mercury and mercury himself are in a two twelve relationship that is bad two twelve six eight is a bad relationship three eleven is somehow manageable but gives result after considerate hard work and patience i have told this earlier because the fifth lord from mercury and mercury are not in a good connection they are two twelve to each other though he have learned law he is not practicing law this is the first mistake you will do what you should do is choose the educational field based on the planet influencing the house fifth from mercury in this horoscope the planet influencing the house fifth from mercury is rahu as i told you rahu indicates engineering so engineering he must have done it have been successful also see you cannot be blind and just analyze the rahu this rahu is situated in taurus and goes to aquarius navamsha because this rahu is in taurus taurus is the sign of venus and taurus as a sign natural second house indicate collecting collecting things which translates into business rahu indicate international things so better was the case if this person must have learned international business in which he must have been able to make good profession without any doubt but unfortunately he haven't done that so problem take for example another chart where the person had a very beautiful professional life and i'm exemplifying it this is like a very close uh, relative of mine so being able to do that in this horoscope you see mercury is situated in the seventh house can you say this mercury is weak first of all let's talk about intelligence can you say this mercury is weak this mercury is in the seventh house becomes digbal heen but is retrograde getting cheshtable and most important most importantly it is respected by jupiter its own sign lord this makes mercury powerful to my students all these things are very well known and i am pretty sure that my students uh, will not find any difficulty to follow what i am saying right now the fifth house from mercury is having moon what i do the biggest mistake that you will do is to choose a profession related to the fifth lord whereas what you should do in reality is choose the profession based on the planet in the fifth house in the fifth house there is the planet moon who is vaishya the karaka of business so this person did an education in business the fifth lord is mars who is in his own rashi uh, scorpio in the sixth house Malefic in third house and sixth house is a match condition. If you remember, in the case of illiterate people, the fifth lord from Mercury was in a mismatched condition. In the case of literate people, it have to be in matched condition. This makes the person literate as well as intelligent. So Mars is in own Rashi. Lowest level is friendly Rashi. Own Rashi higher level. Mulatrigona even higher. exaltation highest so say exaltation is phd own rashi is masters friendly rashi is bachelor bachelors right inimical rashi is more like 12th pass kind of scenario okay okay mars is in a matched house malefic in the 6th house in his own rashi this person have done mba he made a right choice chose the education based on moon which is fifth from mercury so of course right choice he is supposed to succeed right so he have done mba in business marketing and he is successfully pursuing his career mercury and mars are two twelve to each other but that doesn't create a problem because mars is also powerful mercury is also powerful and when you see in navamsha this mars and mercury are conjoined together 
giving him a very beautiful professional life in the field where he have received his education right so a case where you a scenario where you haven't wasted your education years in pursuing something in which you are not going to have a career as i have told i think in a earlier video also i test a technique on many horoscopes if the applicability is more than 80% only then i teach it and because this is youtube my free offering to everyone who genuinely wants to learn astrology cannot be in my courses want to learn have a sincere desire for learning for them this is my service to the society my youtube channel see right like many people have a youtube channel for other purposes also my purpose is to give education to the needy people so that's why i have shared you and always remember because i am an astrology teacher as well the powerful techniques i keep for the course however as a astrologer my responsibility is also towards the society so out of my research formulas and because it is my research it have to be applicable in more than 80% of the charts so if you take 30 charts it will be applicable in more than 25% of charts without any doubt right then this is the weakest of the techniques that i will use for predicting education and see when i say predicting see i i, I cannot say so if you from mercury with that will indicate the education what what which level of education masters bachelors phd what level of distinction what level of intelligence right so i don't like the fragmented things if i teach something this is my approach every time if i teach something teach it complete in depth right this is what i do I have done i have a course on education and profession that was a 10 class course where we have covered the educational and professional aspects of a horoscope that was a crash course of 10 classes that is available to purchase if you want to go deeper into this and uh, like many things in future related to education and profession through that astrology i am also going to do so if you are interested more into these areas want to predict like a professional join those courses right thank you